Wow! Whoa! That is super, super bright. I'm going blind. I have wanted one of these for about 10 years and I finally bought one. It says LED tracer, and as you can see on the picture, it is for tracing stuff. And if you've never seen one before, it's seen one before. It's for people who like to draw something and then draw like a cleaner version on top of it using tracing paper or just paper. But the problem is if you don't use tracing paper, you can't see what's below it. So you use one of these, which has a light inside it so that you can see the picture below it. Not something that most people would need, but if you're into drawing, drawing a rough picture and then drawing like cleaner lines over the top of it, this is a really useful tool. Now actually, one of the reasons I didn't buy this before was I wasn't really sure if I actually needed it, one. And two, they're actually really expensive. They start at about $100 and sometimes go up to about $200 for like the A3 size ones. This is the first time I've seen one that was A4 size for about $100. Because of the shape, you can actually put the paper in portrait mode and still get most of the paper on the page. With previous ones that I've seen, you've had to like shift the whole table. To show you the front of the packaging, it says LED tracer. It is the A4 size model. There's also an A3 size model, I think. One of the cool features of this is that actually you can hold down the button and make it less bright or more bright, depending on, I guess, your environment, whether you need a brighter light because you're working near a window or you need a, you need less light because maybe you've got fewer pages and you, you don't want to go blind from staring at a light bulb all day. And actually, this pack Packaging is apparently quite useful because I can I can hold use the handle like this. So inside the package, which opens up like so, you get some instructional paper which we don't need. And <laughs> now that is very interesting. It comes with these two balls or these semi balls. You put this under the tracer so that you can change the angle. And if you move it around, you can actually make the angle less or more shallow as you need. Ah, this is one thing that I don't like about this tracer is that it comes with an AC adapter instead of being USB powered. This is a 12 watt AC adapter, which means I'm gonna have to keep onto this and then if it breaks, have to buy something of similar. It's just really annoying to have to carry all these around when it would be nice to just be able to carry one USB cable around. Oh well. Ooh! <laughs> it, even comes, it even comes with a carrying bag. Hold on, I'll play with the bag later, but just check these things out of the way. Ooh! Look at this. That's quite nice. A couple neat little features. It's got a centimeter rule, metric ruler here on the sides. And this is the power button, literally you just hold down the button to make it brighter or less bright as necessary. I will be showing you how it works, I'm gonna put it down on the table after I test out this bag. <laughs> oh man, I'm so impressed. All products should come with little, <laughs> cheap little one dollar bags. <laughs> Just be so suspicious walking around with this. Anyway, I will change the angle of the camera so you can actually see how this works and um, maybe maybe even draw a picture, who knows? Now, unfortunately, I'm getting a bit of glare from the ceiling light here, but let me just show you this. This is the little bowl that you get. If you pull it open, then it's actually got two sections, but that's very convenient that you can actually stick them together. And then you just turn them like this and you can put it at an angle, like so. All right, perfect, so it's like I've got my own little desk here for drafting manga. I can actually put a piece of paper on here. I haven't plugged it in yet, but you can see that it is perfectly A4 size this way, so you can draw on it without having any of the paper falling off the sides. And if you have it landscape, you can actually get it to completely light up the entire paper. So it's a very, very nice size, perfect for me. Let's plug it in. Right, it looks like the cable plugs in here on the side, so let me just plug this in. It's a very delicate cable. I don't like how delicate it feels. And let's test it out. Now I think if I try, because I tried it out in the shop and I'm pretty sure this is how it works. I'm pretty sure you can just hold down your finger on here. Wow! Whoa! That is super, super bright. I'm going blind. Let me just turn it down. Awesome, so you hold it down to get it down to exactly the brightness you want. So for example, if I want it to only get a, a little bright like so, I can just leave it or I can turn it down. In fact, I'm just gonna turn down the brightness on my camera so that it's easier for you to see. Let's say that if I have the brightness on my camera r nice and low like this, then I think it gives you a better sense of how much gradation in light there is. <laughs> Still ultra bright, oh my goodness. Oh, I see, look, you can you can go down and up from like medium to uh, medium high to medium low. 
Hey, this is actually quite good. Now actually, since I wasn't ready to actually make a video about this table today, I'm actually just gonna use some stuff that I was drawing earlier, just so I can test how bright this is. So for example, let's turn this off. Let's say that I, were, I was just drawing this picture of Chun-Li here, which I posted on Twitter, I think. If we just leave this picture here, turn up the brightness, Let's see how easy it is to trace this image. Oh, nice! All right, I can't find a paper clip, so I'm just gonna use sellotape for now. This is the same sellotape that ended up in one of my, my videos <laughs> about how to apply your screen protector. <laughs> oh, wow. Let me just give this pencil a little bit of a sharpen. Oops, without spilling graphite everywhere. All right, let's have a go. You know, it's not like you get super high performance light tables, but this is a re- it's so nice to finally own my own one. I guess I just found trouble justifying the cost, but if you feel like this would be a useful tool, especially if you want to practice, you want to learn maybe the styles of another person, you want to do a bit of tracing, or you just want to, like I'm doing right now, you just want to clean up some work that you drew before. This is such an awesome tool. And of course, if you're an animator, this is super, super necessary, just so that you can you can compare the previous frame with the next frame. So when you're animating, obviously, it's a massively important feature. Fortunately, it's such a light table. Oh, nice pun. Good job, me. It's such a light table in terms of weight that actually is very, very easy to move it around. Sometimes light tables have a stand built into them so you'd be stuck at this angle even if you hold it sideways, but because it's got these little rubber pucks, you can have it like this at this angle. Absolutely no problem. All right, let's turn down the brightness and have a C. All right, nice. Now, I think maybe I, sh I could have actually had the brightness down a little bit less just so it was easier to see the actual lines I was drawing as opposed to seeing the lines below the page. But, very, very happy with this result. So nice to have my own light table so I can do a bit of animation, or a bit of drawing cleanup, or even just a bit of practice, even just a bit of tracing. There are so many great reasons why having one of these tables is really useful. Also, just as a side topic, I did buy this pencil recently. This is the one I've been using on the Doki Doki drawing channel for the tutorials that I record with the, uh, the Japanese artist. And I just really enjoyed this pencil. It's using firm lead. It's from the Mitsubishi Uni family of pencils. And I really enjoyed this pencil. And just literally by buying this pencil, I just, I just went on a bit of a buzz. I was kind of drawing a lot on paper and I really felt like I leveled up a bit just by virtue of using paper and pencil again. I mean, it's nice to draw on the Mobile Studio Pro, which is the Wacom tablet that I reviewed a few months ago, but you, it, you really forget how nice and how incredibly precise, you know, it is to draw with pencil. And I highly recommend it. If you haven't been, if you've been drawing digitally for a long time, pick up a pencil every now and then and just see how it feels to draw with pencil because it's fun. I mean, I don't know if you're actually gonna get better or worse from using a pencil, but it is well worth picking up a pencil just because it's very, very enjoyable. All right, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Just wanted to show you the unboxing of this. I think the company is called Joyful. They make this light tracer tablet. It costs a hundred dollars or rather 10,000 yen to be precise. So if you're interested, I highly recommend it, especially because it does fit an entire A4 paper like this. And obviously the ideal way to draw with it is to have it like this. But because there is no stand built in, you can easily change the orientation and draw in portrait mode with absolutely no problem. One of the best features, obviously, this variable brightness light, which you can blind yourself with if you turn it up to the ultimate maximum brightness, or maybe you can just use it <laughs> as a light in your house. You could just replace all the lamps in your house with light tables, who knows? Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share links, and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video.